Yo, it is your boy Big bringing you another Banner Saga 2 video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's resume. Before we start, I would like to say I tried to play a new game for you guys to bring a new game to the series. So I was. So, but I'm not even going to show that first episode because I didn't play. I'm going to pause it while I say this. <coughs> so. I was looking in the store because you know it's the ultimate sale weekend. And I want something, and I went to the free like games, like see if like there's any if they updated anything I didn't play. There was one game named Hank, and I was gonna make a video on that. But then I thought it was just multiplayer. I'm like I'm not even. It's just a multiplayer game, so yeah, that's the whole story. But we are on day 28, and back here with some Banner Saga 2. Metal clanking is heard in the distance and grows louder. You see a yacht's cart surrounded by four Varro and an older woman hitting a <coughs> hitting a lot against the pan. All sorts of things for sale, she says, but her eyes go wide when she looks at you. It's you. Special deals when it comes to you. How do you know me? How do you know me? Words travel fast, she says. Think you can slay asunder and keep it secret? She clicks her tongue and shakes her head. Matter knows of you. Sure enough, why are you out here selling things? Let me see what, let me see what you have. Of course, Mother says. But make up her mind. Mother will get be gone as quick as she arrived and don't get any ideas of sneaking off with things. These four Revolver have the neatest eyes and the sharpest blades and the shortest tempers. You feel the Revolver watching you every move. So we gotta get some more supplies out. Oh my gosh. Add more supplies and let's get on the road. Easy boy. A clansman shot as the young's cart nearly topples to one side. The tamble path of the east way road has steadily turned into a cracked shamble. Looking ahead, it only gets worse. Various chasms gape like open mouths. You glance back to Ivan, who looks at you and shakes his head. The entire carbon comes to a halt. We'll be eating our belts before finding a way to cross this broken road, especially with this many. And there's no telling how far we'd have to backtrack to head north. Then we'll head south across the Orzma Riverbed. We can head toward Gundor and on west. Traga peers around Huckins' elbow before coming fully into view. Heading south is questionable, those people. Hmm. What do you say that? It's our only option. If. And I trust that man. Like, I honestly trust him. But options have options. So many options are options. It might seem easier, but be worse than harder options of options. Oh, thank you for clearing that up for me. The group remains silent. Keeping your boots clean doesn't always keep you alive, you know? This is why Voro tend to themselves. Each human is very in their own way. Shagov punches over with laughter until he suddenly stops, sniffs in the air, and marches away. Strange, but it's fair warning. We'll cross over into lands most of us have never seen. Just because we left those dredge behind doesn't mean we won't have more wars ahead of us. If we had some supplies, I'd say we should stop for a few days and train some of these clansmen to fight. You consider your options? I don't want to risk running out of food. Let's just camp. We'll consider training clansmen later. We need to keep the few remaining clansmen moving. I don't want to risk running out of food. Oh sure, I know food is scarce, but if we were killed in a fight, we'll cost one help us. Alright, let's train, forget it. Call for camp spread down and lines and I will find seven the trainer. So he made me change my mind. I'm like I kinda see in his way, like if we have no fighters, then what's the point of surviving, you know? Well there. Not shopping guards of fighters I trained the score, Ivor says. But there's a chance they won't run at first sight of trouble. He rubs his mended shoulder where an arm used to be. No one's sure I could do much better than anymore. 
Alright. So, we are gonna stop there. It has been your boy Big, and I'll see you in the next one.